Well, we're now learning some new details following the death of a toddler in Oildale. It comes after eyewitness news reporter Leslie Valle spoke with a biological family of the little boy. Leslie, what details have you gathered? Yes, Rochelle, well, after speaking with the grandpa of the three-year-old Alejandro Perez Jr., he says the death of his grandson could have been avoided. Eyewitness News obtained court documents that depict what happened the morning and that has died. I do want to warn for some of our viewers that the information we are about to share may be difficult for some to hear. He was a really good kid. Like, there's nothing, nothing whatsoever he could have done that would have caused anybody to have hurt him so much that he would die. Alejandro Perez Jr., known by his family as Andres, was only three years old when he died in Oildale on February 9th, just before 7 in the morning. The Kern County Sheriff's deputies responded to a home and found foster mother Margaret Eckhorst giving Andres CPR. About a week after the death, Eckhorst was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and assault of a child under eight, resulting in death. Eckhorst was arraigned last month and pled not guilty. We didn't know her. Mm -hmm. From Adam or Eve, she wasn't related to our, my grandson in any way, shape, or form. The grandfather of the toddler, Ed Walton III, says Andres was in the care of Eckhorst after Child Protective Services took both Andres and his younger sister away from their home following an incident. He says Andres's little sister suffered from second-degree burns from hot water after a former roommate allegedly tampered with the heating system. The family hasn't been able to get the kids back since. Regardless of how hard I tried to get them to listen and, you know, submit evidence to the courts. They didn't. They had my grandkids. Court documents obtained by Witness News reveal at course was caring for both Andres and his baby sister, along with an additional foster child and her own biological daughter. During the initial interview after Andres died, Eckhorst told KCSO she believed Andres fell off the bed as he did many times, except this time when she checked on him, he was cold and stiff. She said she got scared and called 911. During the toddler's autopsy, investigators found injuries consistent with child abuse almost everywhere on his body. Pathologists determined his cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Eckhorst told officials she was aware Andres had bruises and cuts and said he would often run into things around the house. When she was questioned about disciplining the kids, she said she didn't hit them. She just put them in timeout facing the corner. But Eckhorst's biological daughter told officials a different story. She said her mom would spank Andres and make him face the corner with his hands above his head. Walton is now suing the county for wrongful death and is asking the community for help to raise money for funeral arrangements. That information can be found on our website at bakersfieldnow.com. Of course, is set to appear in court tomorrow for her preliminary hearing. In studio, Leslie Vai, Eyewitness News.